Hi everyone this morning I went to school. Hmm. I hope there won't be any tests or surprises today. I don't like solving difficult problems. Look how cool and big the school is. It has a lot of classes and also my favorite canteen where there is always something to eat. I'll have to go in there and get some goodies at recess. Looks like everyone's already gone to class. I hope I'm not too late. Hey JJ, look, I'm on the stairs. I'll be right down. Don't go anywhere. I'm on my way. Wow, Mikey seems to be here and he was just at the cafeteria. Yeah, I just got back from the diner. I bought myself a lot of goodies and had a hearty meal, so I don't think I'm going to be hungry anytime soon. Wow, that sounds cool. Look at this. What? What are you talking about? Ah, subscribe and like. Sounds like great advice I think everyone should do. Yeah, I've been liking and subscribing for a while now. Come on, let's hurry up. Class starts soon. I heard we might not have class today so we can relax. I hope that's true. Wow, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, come on. I don't want to get scolded for being late again. It's not that scary. Anyway, look, everyone's already in class. Come on, let's go. I hope they don't see us. Yeah, they never pay attention to the back of the classroom. We're finally in class and the teacher doesn't seem to be here yet. He must be late somewhere. Everyone's already here. Let her be. Late even longer anyway. Class is in session and the more she's gone, the better off we'll be. Sounds cool, but hopefully she'll be late or not show up at all. Look, kids, hello. And I just wanted to let you know that the old teacher quit. The old teacher quit. Wow, she really didn't like the conditions she had to teach us in. But don't worry, kids. Anyway, I've already found a new teacher for you who will pick up where the old one left off. I hope you're not too upset, please. Try not to upset her. She's a great teacher. Come on in. The class is already packed. Hello, kids. I'm your new teacher instead of the old one. Wow, she's our new substitute teacher, and she looks really young. Look at her. Thank you for introducing me. You shouldn't. So, kids, thank you to our wealthy principal for finding me and bringing me to your class. I think we're going to have a great school season and learn a lot of new things. I think I'm going to go now. Good luck, kids, and good luck with your new teacher. Many thanks. Try not to hurt her or it will end bad, and you'll be suspended from school. Wow, the principal seemed to really like this teacher. He didn't say as much about the last one. Okay, kids, I'm going to write you a little assignment. She looks so young and beautiful. Silence, please. I can see why the director chose her. He's fallen in love with her. It's not surprising since she's smart and young and beautiful all at once. And so, kids, I've written some little tasks on the board that I hope you're already familiar with and that you learned with your previous teacher. Looks familiar? I think we know how to solve this. It's good because it's basic knowledge that you should have already passed with the previous teacher. I think we should get to know her better so we can be friends. Yeah! So, kids, I'll give you one day to remember all your knowledge, and tomorrow we'll do a test on these topics. What? A test? I hate tests. I didn't study for anything. She said test. I don't like tests either. Me too. She just came in and gave a test. And now let's look back at all the the past topics. Three hours later. I'm so frustrated, JJ. I don't know how to solve these lessons. Don't worry, Mikey. I don't think they'll be that so hard. I don't even know how to solve them. And she wants to give a whole test and only one day to study all the knowledge. Don't get upset, Mikey. If you fail one test, I've already failed a bunch of tests. It won't be a big deal. Besides, it's not that hard to learn all the knowledge for this test in one day. I don't want to learn anything. It's complicated and time consuming. I don't want to do it. I've already failed a bunch of tests this school year. And look at me, I really have a ton of them. Wow, I didn't realize you'd already failed so many tests. Yeah, I literally never got a single positive on any of my tests. But look at you, you got a perfect score. Yeah, I studied for all the tests and got a perfect score on all of them. And so if you need help, I can teach you how to solve them. And you're gonna pass just like I did. And you're gonna pass just like I did. I don't want to learn. But Mikey, everything you need is already here. Just read a little bit and you'll understand everything you need. And pass the test with an excellent grade. Well, maybe you're right. Yes, all you need to do is study a little. But I don't want to learn anything now. I'd rather go play on the computer and not think about it. So you go ahead and teach and I'll go play and have fun for the rest of the day. But you understand that you will pass the test poorly. Why are you doing this? You just need to devote a little time and you will be ready to pass the test with a good grade. I'd rather study for a test than play computer games. We'll see later which of us will pass the test better and there will be another piece of paper to add to the collection of failures. And so what do we have here? The next day. Good afternoon.
afternoon, children. It's a pleasure to welcome you all to a super duper important school exam. If anyone fails this exam, they will no longer be in our school. All your worksheets are on your desk. You can start working right now. I've been studying for this exam for a whole year. This test will be the easiest one for me. Ha ha ha, because I'm smart. You're too much of a braggart, JJ. Anyone in this class can take this test. I doubt that, Mikey. I don't think even our viewers are capable of solving such complex math examples. One plus five, what's the number? It takes time to solve it. I usually just write random numbers. That's how I solve all the examples for normal grades. Um, that's too dumb an idea. You could get a bad grade. All the honor students are too boring and uninteresting. And I'm the cool bully at this school. Oh boy, the teacher is sure to give Mikey's worst grade ever. You better think of yourself. I'll probably write my test a lot better than you. By the way, I'm done. Teacher, can I go to the restroom? What? Mikey, did you finish the test yet? You can't leave class until the test is over. And I've already finished writing the test, and now I want to pee. Oh my god, Mikey's going to pee himself. Let him go to the toilet now. Um, well, okay. Mikey, you can go to the toilet in peace. Well done for finishing the test. I'm proud of you. Thank you, teacher. I'll go now. But how did you finish the test faster than me? You didn't prepare for it at all. Because I'm smarter and more cunning than you, JJ. Bye, everyone, losers. I went to poop. Keep writing the test. Um, Mikey actually has all the wrong answers. He will get the worst grade. Ha ha ha. His test is full of nonsense. Who's talking here? Shut up, everyone, right now. You shut up. Excellent students can shout and do anything. And I'm an excellent student. Ha ha ha. It's so good to get the job done faster than anyone in the class. I can actually go home now and play on the computer. I'll do that while JJ is writing this stupid test. Oh, what are those noises? I hear someone snoring. You can't sleep at school. It's all about learning and suffering. That's our director. Why is he sleeping on the job? If it were me, I'd have been punished a long time ago. He sleeps so soundly here. I'm sure he won't wake up soon. Yeah, that sounds awful. I hope I don't snore like that. By the way, I remembered that I wrote my test terribly. I need to come up with something about that. And what could possibly help me? Oh, I think I've come up with a really cool and smart thing. The director's microphone is going all over the school at once. I think I might be able to get a little naughty. I guess a little prank won't get me kicked out of this school. And it's actually the sleeping director's fault. If he hadn't fallen asleep, bullies like me wouldn't have gotten into his office so easily. Attention, this is the school director speaking. I'm ordering JJ into my office immediately. By the way, JJ stinks so bad today. I hope no girl ever talks to him because he's such a loser. But Mikey's the cool kid. That's what the director of the school said. Pooh, I think I'm done writing this super difficult test. I'll say it again. JJ is waiting in the school to reader's office. That stinker should be here. Uh, that's kind of weird. JJ, get to the director's office right now. All right, I'm just finishing up a test. There's a very strange sound in our director's voice. Maybe he has a cold, but it doesn't matter. Hurry up and get over there. I'll let you go. Oh, okay. Since it's so urgent, I should go over there. I'm kind of scared to go in this office. It's usually for bullies or stupid students. I don't fall into any of those categories. Okay, whatever. Oh, hello, JJ. Where are you going? I've been urgently called by the director of the school. I have no idea why he needs me. Uh, that's kind of weird. Maybe he wants to compliment you on being so smart. Uh, well, okay. By the way, did you write your test? Yeah, it's on my desk. Oh, cool. Then I'll wait for you outside the classroom, because I still have a little bit of my test to write. Um, this is getting even weirder, because Mikey's already written his test. Okay, whatever. I hope the director praises me for sure. I'm still afraid of him. Oh my god, none of my answers match JJ's. I'm in big trouble, and they won't give me a new test sheet. I need another brilliant idea. Oh, I got it. I'll just change the names on the test. JJ's test will be mine, and my test will be his. What an evil genius I am. I'm the smartest one in school, not JJ. Three hours later. What's that all about? An E grade? I've never gotten one of those in my life. Friends, what subject did you get bad grades in? Write about it in the comments. This is my first bad grade ever. Mom and Dad are definitely not going to be happy about this. This is my first good grade ever. Why are you so sad, JJ? I'm sad because I somehow failed the test. Oh, I'm so sorry, JJ, for what happened. 
happened? Not one correct answer. This can't be happening. I certainly didn't write that on my worksheet. I'm doing great because I took my studies easy. Now this is where it gets weird. Stop whining, JJ. Let's go home and play some games. I still don't understand how I could have failed the test. This can't be happening. Quit screwing around, JJ. Everybody makes mistakes, but not me. How did you pass the test if you didn't study for it at all? Hey, kids. Mikey, I wanted to commend you for having the best test scores ever. I'm very proud of you, kid. Keep it up. Thank you, teacher. I won't let you down again. I'll be the smartest student in school. JJ, on the other hand, really disappointed me a lot. You were so good at school. Uh, excuse me, please. I'll study better for the next tests. I really hope you take an example from your brother. Try harder and you will succeed. I'll take care of him, teacher. Great. Bye then. I still have a lot of work to do. Bye-bye, students. Bye for now. I'll call you later, baby. What? What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Let's go home already. This studying has really worn me out. We should get some rest. Oh my god. I'm sure there's a catch in here somewhere. It's so good to be rested after a hard test. My parents praise me so much that I'm finally getting my mind right. And they scolded JJ and even punished him. He was a little upset, but it was nothing. He'll get over it somehow. At least I have my first perfect test paper in my collection. I think this could be put in a frame to admire it every day. But JJ got so upset about that test. So what if he got a bad grade for the first time in his life? I've gotten hundreds of bad grades. By the way, where is he now? Oh my god, why is he sitting outside in this horrible weather? I'm sorry to see him like this. He's also crying. Yeah, I did a bad thing. I'll have to do something to cheer him up so he doesn't sit there sour all day. Otherwise, he'll get sick sitting in the rain. It's about time I admitted to him that I switched the test. He'll definitely resent me, but I don't want to see him like this. And my parents can scold me for my next grade, and the teacher will be disappointed in me again. But I care about my brother more than that. He has to find out about it. My prank got out of control. I'm so poor and stupid. I never thought I'd be as stupid as Mikey. My life is over, and I want to go to the best university in the world. What do you want here, you smart guy? Um, JJ, I wanted to apologize to you. It's all my fault. It's not your fault, Mikey. I'm totally dumb. I didn't study hard enough for the test and I failed. It's not your fault, JJ. I switched your test with mine while you were in the director's office. Your test was the best in the class and mine was the worst. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? So I'm not that stupid? So this is all your Ouch. fault? Why did Ouch. you do this? Ow! Oh, stop hitting me. I'm sick of you always being the smartest in your f- Ow! You need to be punished as hard and as painfully as possible. How could you do that? Come here. I'm not finished. Easy, JJ. My skin is too delicate. I'm also in pain. Nah! Is his skin soft? Ha ha! You almost ruined my life, you stupid Mikey. I hate you. Don't don't do that. Nah, take that. Ow, I think I'm getting a bruise. Nah, now you're going to get more bruises. Ten hours later. Today, Mikey and I are starting our day not with coffee, but with toys. Hey, hey, I talked JJ into spending time together with our toys today. That's true, though I'd certainly prefer to go play on the computer more. Let's pick what you want then, JJ. That's great. Then let's you pick what we're gonna play. And we're already getting it all in here so we can start playing. Awesome. Kids, I'm home. Did you hear that? Looks like daddy came home. Yeah, I heard that too. Let's go meet him soon. Let's go, Mikey. There's a reason he's calling us. Maybe something's happened. I think so too, JJ. We should find out. Maybe he bought us some kind of gift, or maybe he just wants to meet us. Hi, Daddy, did you call us? Hey, kids, I had an interesting story. I found a treasure. Cool. I don't really know where to hide it, so I'll take the treasure to the basement. But don't tell anyone in case somebody comes and takes it. Wow. Did you hear that, Mikey? That's great. Now you can buy us a PlayStation 5? What's a PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Of course not. No toys or consoles. I'm saving this treasure for hard times. Please, Daddy. We really want to. No, don't even ask. I'll go get them so you all won't be tempted. You could have just bought us a present. Come on, guys. No offense, please. We're not offended. Just sad that he won't buy it. That's it. I've hidden the treasure. Now it's in a safe place. Fine. Let's keep them there for a while. Why keep it for nothing? You can just spend it. I think so, too. Go on up to your room, kids. All right. Uh-huh. Come on, JJ. Why is Dad so greedy? 
He wouldn't lose much if he just bought us a PlayStation 5. I'm very angry with our father. It's not nice. I agree. Where did you go? Wait for me, Mikey. It just makes me want to scream and run around in anger. We don't ask that much. Why is he so greedy to us? I don't understand it either. Let's go get money and buy our own PlayStation. We know where it's hidden. But we can't do that, JJ. It'll be fine. They won't find out for a while yet. No, JJ, I won't do that. It's not nice to steal from our family. Let's go get it. What are you afraid of? We're getting a PlayStation 5. No, you don't have to talk me into it. I won't do it. It's not right. Oh my god, Mikey, you're such a coward. You can think of me that way. Go on, it's bedtime. Yeah, I didn't expect that from you. Well, let's get some rest then. All right. No offense to me for that. Good night to you. Same to you, Mikey. But that's okay. I'll just do it myself tonight and no one will know about it quietly. Okay, I'm awake, it's full night, and everyone should be asleep. Mikey's definitely asleep. Then I can go and collect. Just have to be careful. What would you guys do if you were me? Write your opinion in the comments. And I'll be on my way to the basement to get the money. If Mikey's afraid to do it, then I'll do it alone. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The TV is on, but it's like no one's there. I don't see anyone in the kitchen either. The main thing in this business is to take your time. Haste makes waste. All right, we can go to the basement. And here's the treasure that Daddy found. It's in this chest. We've got to go and get it before someone comes. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. All right, it's done. It was no big deal, but did I do the right thing by taking all the money? Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here, we can run to the room. That's it, the plan is done. All that's left to do is hide that money and go to bed. I'll hide it in Mikey's chest and buy him a present tomorrow. We just have to do it quietly so Mikey doesn't wake up. Great, he didn't hear anything. Now we can go to bed. I did it perfectly. Mikey will be 100% excited about the gift tomorrow. Now we can fall asleep. The next day. Listen, the kids were pretty upset yesterday. Why don't we just buy them a present? Actually, I overreacted yesterday. Let's do that. Great, the kids will love it. They've been asking for a PlayStation 5. You've got enough money to buy them that, right? It's a very expensive gift, of course. But I think, yes, we can afford it. Then I'll go to the basement and take all the money that's in there. Even though it's expensive, it won't be too bad for our kids. Kids are everything in our lives. All right, I think we're all here, so there was no one in the basement. We can go get them. We have to get everything done while they're asleep. All right, let's get the money. Wait, where's all the money? Where'd it go? Looks like some cheeky kid snuck in and took the money. How dare they do that? Just steal everything? Oh, I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm really angry. I'm going to punish whoever stole the family's money. Children, get up quickly. What? What happened? Which one of you insolents took all the money out of the chest? Oh no, how did they know? Now they're going to check it out. JJ, confess, did you steal the money? Don't you dare lie to me, tell me the truth. No, Dad, I didn't take anything. Stop yelling, please don't scare our children. If it wasn't you, then Mikey took it all. Hey, Mikey, come on, wake up. Did you steal the money? What? What happened? What money? Why does he play stupid? He knows what money is involved. Mikey, please tell me, did you take money from the basement? No, I honestly didn't take anything. I slept through the night. I'm telling you he's cheating. Now we'll check in your trunk. Yep, that's what I needed to prove. The little thief has been found. Mikey, I didn't expect this from you. But I didn't take anything, really. I'm not lying. What's this one in my hand? Why do you keep lying? I'm not lying to you. I didn't take it. Look at the nerve. Well, what if he really didn't take it? Now we'll punish him. He'll know how to steal from his family. Don't punish me. I'm telling the truth. And he keeps proving something to us. Well, I don't know how to prove it to you. I'm not lying to you. I didn't expect my son to be a thief and a cheat, too. Don't call me that. I don't deserve it. Wait a minute. Let's ask JJ. Okay. JJ, did you see Mikey take the money? Don't just protect your brother. Just tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw him go into the basement tonight. No, 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 no! That's it! So you've been lying this whole time? Follow me! You're grounded! JJ, why would you say that? Why did you lie? Don't talk to him! Get over here! You've disappointed us! You will now live in the pantry. 
You did a terrible thing. You'll know how to steal money and cheat. Why? JJ tells lies and I don't lie. I don't even want to hear it anymore. Get in the closet. And just try to get out of there. Not until we say so. You've hurt us very badly. We're very angry with you. Please don't leave me here alone. JJ, tell them the truth. I'm not a thief or a liar. We did everything right. I agree with you. JJ, thanks for telling us the truth. You did the right thing. You didn't protect him or lie to him. You did good. We really appreciate it. We are proud of you. Thank you for those words. I think I'm gonna go lie down some more. Yeah, sure, go rest. When you wake up, come downstairs, we'll cook with mom. Yes, son, we'll make your favorite dish. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Now Mikey will sit there alone for a long time to come. He'll probably be sad, but at least I'll have the whole room to myself. And it's very cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I feel a little bad for Mikey, but at least my parents didn't punish me. That's more important, isn't it? Now I can watch TV and what I want to watch or just sit on the computer. Do you think I did the right thing by turning Mikey in? I think everything's great. <laughs> Why did JJ do this to me? It's not like I did anything wrong. He also lied to our parents. And now I'm sitting here in the closet. Four to six days later. It's been a bunch of time since I've lived alone without Mikey in my room. I'm having a lot of fun living like this. No one gets in the way and you do whatever you want. For example, now I play on the computer and no one asks me to play too. While I certainly feel a little bad that Mikey has been sitting in the closet for so long, I certainly won't be telling my parents parents to let him go. I'd rather sit back and play on the computer. Hey, JJ, come here. We got something to show you. There's something very interesting here. No, thanks. I don't want to. It's much more fun to play on the computer. JJ, distract yourself for not too long. We'll just show you one video and that's it. It literally goes on for 10 seconds. I don't want to watch anything. Please don't disturb me. I have an important assignment. Well, quickly, JJ got the tablet in his hands and watched the video. Don't talk to us like that. We approach you nicely and ask you to do an easy task. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Let me watch your video. Come here. Now we're going to give you the tablet. There's a short but very informative video. You have to watch it. Okay, I got it. Give me the tablet already. I'll see what you're asking. Here you go. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. I mean, this could have been watched at any other time. Now you're going to turn it on. Watch it and you'll understand. All right, I'm turning it on. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The main thing in this business is to take your time. All right, we can go to the basement. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here. We can run to the room. Oh no, I didn't know there was a camera. You stole the money. So it turns out who's a liar and a thief. How dare you do such a thing? I just wanted to give Mikey a present and I hid the money in his trunk. And when you guys showed up, I got scared. That doesn't excuse you. You did a terrible thing, and because of you, your brother was in the closet for days. I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Now Mikey's going to be happy, and you're going to go sit in the pantry. Oh, no. I so don't want that. Let's go free Mikey, and you'll go straight to his place. And you'll be there a lot longer than Mikey. Please don't. I get it. Mikey, son, come here. Am I finally allowed to go out? We've been through the cameras, and we know everything. We believe you now. JJ set you up. You finally believe me. I told you I didn't take anything. You're gonna punish him now, aren't you? Of course. He'll sit there more than you. Yay. I'm really excited about this. Come on in. It's your place now. Please forgive me. I get it. I'll never do it again. Mikey did time for nothing and you'll do time for stealing. I'm scared to sit here. Don't. You'll know how to steal and cheat. And you set me up even though I was right. I've got it all figured out. I won't do it again. But no one listened to me or let me out. That's why you're gonna sit here, liar. Stop standing here and jumping. Get out of here, don't mock me. Now I'm the only one left here. I guess I deserved it, unfortunately. Well, wait, what do I have in here? Ha ha ha, it's a tablet. They forgot all about it. Now I'm gonna spend my time here with my tablet. How lucky I am to have this. Hey, liar, give me my tablet back here right now. No, please, let me keep it. You better not make me angry. You deserve to sit here and do nothing. Give it to me now. Okay, don't yell. Hold your tablet. I can live here without it. That's great. You're gonna sit here for a week. More than that, you little thief. We're very angry with you. You set your brother up, you liar. Yeah, I shouldn't have done all that. I didn't even have time to buy anything. Seven months later...
Well, it's not our personal school, but we do learn here. Yeah, and we're gonna be late for class, by the way. Oh, uh, what? The bell has been ringing for a while now, JJ. Oh, no, the teacher's going to swear at us. Oh, she scolded us so many times. Uh, it's okay, let's go. Huh, indeed, Mikey. <laughs> oh, let's go to the slide after class. Ooh, I like that idea. Cool, and then we can ask our parents for money for all sorts of goodies. Ah, but then we have to behave well during class today because otherwise our teacher will tell our parents. Yeah, let's be good. I want to get some goodies. Hello, teacher. Sorry I'm late. Yes, hello. Here come our latecomers. <gasps> but we apologized. Shame on you for being so insolently systematically late for my class. Teacher, this is the last time we'll be late, really. Please excuse us. Then I forgive you one last time for such boorish treatment of my lessons. Oh! Take your seats. Okay. Now let's get on with the lesson. JJ, hurry up and take your seats. Kids, oh my god. Who knows how many planets there are in the solar system? Uh, I don't know. Well, do you have any answers? Mikey? No, JJ, I don't know either. There are only eight planets in our solar system. Oh, wow. And by the way, oh, hmm. that was your homework. Uh, but we didn't know that. Okay, Mercury, Venus, I won't be able Earth, to remember later. Mars, Jupiter, She's Saturn, talking too fast. Uranus, Neptune. Oh! Don't forget, there's a quiz on this topic next period. Thanks for an interesting lesson, teacher. Uh, we'll be ready. We gotta go home too, Mikey. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. I'm not ready for the test tomorrow, JJ. I'm not ready either. Mikey and JJ. Well? I hope you haven't forgotten that tomorrow, you have to bring me a report on the types of weather in our state. Uh, Mikey, we haven't prepared anything at all. JJ, don't yell about it so loud. But Mikey... It's okay, we'll figure it out. This is a bad idea. As long as our teacher doesn't tell our parents. That's for sure. We can figure something out, JJ. Okay, Mikey, why don't we go have some fun on the playground? That's right, we wanted to go on the slide after school. Yeah, let's go. I'm so sick of school, let's go have fun. You're the one who's tired? Of course, I have so much to think about here, the horror. Uh, like what? Like how we're going to take all the tests and papers tomorrow. You really think a lot? Terrible. Oh. Two hours later. Kids, this is your stop. Thanks for driving us, Bob. See you tomorrow. I'll be sure to bring you something special tomorrow. Huh, okay. Bob's so cool, huh, Mikey? Yes, he always drives us practically to our house. Also, he is always very kind to us. Mom says he's a good man. Nice. Oh, hmm. Maybe we should hurry home as we've had quite a long walk today. Yeah, I agree. It's getting a little dark. I hope our mom cooked dinner. So let's go and find out. Yeah, let's go. Although I'm not really hungry right now, lunch at school is so filling. Wow, I'm incredibly hungry, JJ. Huh? Oh, Mikey, you're always hungry. A rapidly growing body needs lots and lots and lots of food. Yeah. To be strong. Yes, and also to be round like a balloon. No, that's not going to happen to me. That's what they all say. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, you came in so late today? How's school going, guys? Uh, It's great. I got a perfect grade on my test. Yeah, Mikey got an A+. Wow, Mikey, you are so good. Keep up the good work. And by the way, hmm. I've made you some food, so sit down at the table. Wow, that looks delicious. We're not hungry. Uh, Mom, we ate at school. Thank you. All right, then go to your room and get ready for bed. I just want to say that you... You are the coolest and best parents in the whole world. Oh, Mikey. JJ, take a lesson from your brother. Wait, what? Thank you both. Good night. Yes, yeah, sleep well, our boys. Good night. JJ, did you notice how cool my idea was? <clears throat> now we're the best kids in the world to them. But Mikey... They'll never think we're bad at school. Uh, and all we have to do is outsmart our teachers. Mikey, hold on a second. But we'll do that later. Let's go play on the computer. Mikey, why didn't you tell them I'm a good student too, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Now our parents think I'm stupid. Isn't that the truth? What? That's enough. Get off. Now I'm going to play computer. Hee hee hee. No way, stupid JJ. Hmm. In ten minutes, okay? Ugh. Why is there so much paperwork prepared for teachers? Soon my hands will look like prickly cacti. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what is it? Who are you and what do you want? Ha 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 ha, sweet TV woman. Aren't you tired of being treated so brazenly? Uh, From now on, you'll hate everyone. No, wait! <laughs> the next day... JJ, the game we played yesterday was so cool. Yeah, and that's why I didn't sleep at all. I still want to play it today. You can only do that if our deception isn't exposed, Mikey. Nobody's going to find out, JJ. What about our teacher? Oh, hmm. Uh, kids, good morning. It's time for school. Good morning. Are you ready? If you're ready, your dad will drive you both to school today. Yeah, grab what you need and let's go. Cool. Hopefully today will be as awesome a day as yesterday. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're my honors student. Oh. Come on, grab your bags and get to school. Okay, Mom. I'll take you for a ride. Okay, now we're going to grab a couple more books with JJ and head to the car. Yeah, Mikey, you're such a liar. Well, ha, ha What do you want to put in your backpack? Well, a couple cars, toys, and a cell phone. Uh, viewers, what kind of things do you think you can bring to school? All right, everybody ready? Yes, yes Dad. Dad. Who lives in Old Town? Mom, Mom Dad, Dad, Mikey, and JJ. JJ. Who will always and everywhere win? Mom, Mom Dad, Mikey, Mikey, and JJ. JJ. Who is as agile as a fish in water? JJ. Hey. Three hours later. 
No, I'm cooler than TV Titan. No, JJ, you're a speaker in general. You can't be cooler than TV. Oh, uh, and we're here already. Dad, that was fun. Huh, I'll probably drive you both to school a lot now, but only if you both behave. Okay, Daddy. Now you better hurry up or you'll be late for class. Yeah. Get lots of good grades yesterday as well as today. I'll pick you both up from school. All right, Daddy, we'll do our best. Yes, you'll be more than proud of us. Bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Yay! Mikey, Dad's picking us up from school. Cool. Yes, spending time with Daddy is a lot of fun. I wish it could be like this every day. Well, if he finds out about our problems at school, hmm. we'll never go to school this fun again. Uh, Mikey, wait, we still haven't done the report. It's all caught up, JJ. Oh, uh, what? I have the perfect plan to get us out of detention and bad grades from the teacher. Are you sure this plan of yours is going to work? Of course. Last time, she was so angry. Relax, JJ. This time I know exactly what to say to her. Okay, I'll believe you one last time, Mikey. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry again for our tardiness. You're hardly late this time, so it's okay. Oh. Take your seats. We are so lucky. Thank you, teacher. Let's go, JJ. Yes, thank you, teacher. So, like I said before, you all had to prepare paired reports huh, on Here comes the fun part. Oh, no. Only Mikey and JJ didn't turn in their reports. You brought the report, didn't you? No, teacher. Our cat was sick, so we didn't do anything. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Kids, you realize that doesn't excuse you in any way, right? Uh. Does our teacher really hate animals? I thought the best of her, uh... I'm so sick of your excuses. <gasps> your end is near. Oh, my God! JJ, what happened to her? I have no idea, Mikey. Oh, my God! It's time, time to teach, teach you all the real rules. Mikey, she's got a knife. Teacher, please calm down. Oh, my God! JJ, let's go too. I'm so sick of you all. I can hardly control myself. Teacher, we didn't mean to make you so angry. Look out. Please forgive us. We just didn't want to study. That's all. Oh, really? Teacher, please forgive us. Mm, no. Oh, my God. JJ, something's obviously wrong with her. Let's get out of here. Come here, both of you. You'll be punished. Run away. JJ, get over here. I'm running as fast as I can. We gotta get home soon. Let's tell the parents <gasps> about it. Don't even think about escaping the punishment you deserve. Oh, Mikey, there's iron doors. We can't get out here. What do we do? I don't know. I know what you're gonna do. Oh, no. You'll work off all your debts all your absences and all your mistakes. Ah! Oh, I feel so bad. Mom? Oh, was it a dream? Uh, oh my God, where am I? What is this place? Uh, I see trees. Right, what about Mikey? Oh, Mikey, wake up. Mikey, mom cooked lasagna. Ooh, that's a delicious dish. Mikey. Oh, my God, JJ, what's going on? I don't know where we are. Hmm. Look, you can see the trees. JJ, I know where we are. Really? I've been here a couple times when I skipped class. Hmm. This is the basement of our school. Wait, what? If we are still in school, why are we tied with a rope? JJ, our teacher's gone crazy. Huh, what? She brought us here, tied us up, and I don't know what she's going to do with us. Mikey, we got to get out of here. <gasps> uh. She's already here. Oh, no. I don't want anything to happen to us, no. How naughty children. Oh. It's customary to punish naughty children for their misbehavior. Oh, my God. JJ, I'm really scared. I'm scared of her. That's right, Mikey. You should be more afraid. Stop. What? Oh, no. For all I know, you've been pushing JJ to skip class with you. No, don't touch him. You're a terrible kid, and my methods will teach Ouch. you good Mikey, life. please don't do this. Ow! Stop. Ouch. Mm. I get it. I get all my mistakes. Please stop torturing Mikey. Mm. Oh, no. You're brave. Uh, do you really want to be punished for your brother? No, no. I just want you to stop bullying us. And don't stop me from educating this insolent No. Boy. Ouch. Mikey! Ouch! You made him cry! <laughs> Tears never help the cause. Uh, this lesson will teach him to overcome difficulties. JJ, I can't learn anymore like this. It really hurts. He's in pain. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was a little late at work today, but I don't think it's such a big deal. I wonder why no one says hello to me. They couldn't have gone home, could they? I told them I was coming to get them. Kids, I've come for you. Oh my God, what is that? Why did the school doors become iron doors? This has never happened before. My children may be in danger. All right, one and two. So what's going on here? Where are my kids? Oh, there's no one here at all. What's going on? Ow! Mikey! Oh, uh, what? Ouch! Oh, my God, was that Mikey yelling? <laughs> the lesson isn't over for today. Oh, my God! How long are we going to sit here? You will sit here until you realize the terrible things you've Mikey. done. Mikey! I can't take this much! You should have thought of that before you acted so horribly. I gotta get free of the ropes and help Mikey. Scream all you want! Please! No, you've really pissed me uh, off. Uh, Dad? Now it's time for you to take responsibility for this. Uh, and you're very bad, kids. Hmm. What did we do to deserve this? Mostly you, Mikey. Wait, why? You're just awful. Yay! How can you act like that all the time? Daddy, save us! What? Why 
What did you just say? Stop hurting my kids. Ow. Wow, Dad, are you that strong? Daddy proved that women can be beaten. Uh, Dad, can you set us free? Mikey, you're not quite right. Oh, huh? You can only hit bad women. Oh. Now tell me what happened here. Our teacher has lost his mind. Yeah, she pulled out a knife and started threatening us. And then brought us here and, oh no. <gasps> and scolded them for their terrible behavior at school. How interesting. They skip classes, they don't do their homework, and their grades are terrible. Oh no, Mikey. Dad, uh... I don't want to hear any more from you both. Dad. You'll both be punished when you get home. Oh my god. Mikey, we're in trouble. It's not just trouble. Oh uh, what? It's mega trouble, JJ. Oh my god. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. How are you guys doing? I just woke up and my wife is in the kitchen cooking again. I should say hello to her and eat something out of her hand. It's been a long time since we've lived together and loved each other. Good morning, darling. Do you remember what day it is? Good morning, sweetie. Of course I remember. I even prepared a present for you, but it'll be a secret. Surprise? I love surprises. That's great. I also thought we should have guests over. Who do you want to invite to your birthday party? I think we can get Mikey and his wife. Haven't seen my best friend in a while. I just don't know if he's busy today. So let's get him on the phone. What if he doesn't agree or doesn't pick up the phone? I haven't seen him in a long time. What are you afraid of? One phone call won't stop him. He's your best friend. Go ahead and call him already. Come on, do it. Okay, okay, if that's the way you want it. What? You're the one who wants it. Shh, I'm dialing. Don't interrupt. Okay, 1337 and then 1312. That feels right. The last time I saw him, he locked me in a cage, but I forgave him. Anyway, you know what? I've been shot. I locked a man behind bars in my basement and then his gang showed up. Wow, Mikey, you are so cool. I've always admired you. I mean, you can be a little crazy sometimes, but you're so good. Yeah, it was fun. I took down that gang. Then they all apologized to me on their knees. I had a friend behind bars, but it didn't matter. It's been a while since I've seen him, so we should see how he's doing. I miss him. Okay, I think Mikey answered the phone. Hello, Mikey. Hey, what's up? It's been a while since we've talked. Straight to the point. It's my birthday today, in case you remember. Hey, is it your birthday? Congratulations, JJ. Thanks, Mikey. I'm inviting you and your wife to our party. Party! I love it. Okay, we'll be there. Thanks for inviting us. We'll be there soon. See you later, JJ. Okay, Mikey. We're waiting for you. Bye. Okay, I called them. They're coming to the party. Now we just have to set the table. Set the table? Uh, I think we're gonna have a problem with that. We have almost nothing in the fridge. You ate it all, JJ. Oh, really? What did you cook all the time then? I didn't cook anything. I kept ordering food and pretending to be busy. It doesn't matter. I have to go to the store and get some groceries. Potatoes, carrots, burgers, etc. And you, JJ, go meet the guests without me. Clean your house and be a good boy. I'm your husband, not your son. It's just a joke. A harmless joke. Okay, don't forget the burgers. Mikey loves them. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Don't miss me and happy birthday again. Love you, honey. Love you too. Bye-bye, sweetie. I'll clean up and get everything ready for the party. This place really needs to be cleaned up. Do you guys like to celebrate your birthdays? When all your friends are in one place, write about it in the comments. I made a mega cool gift for JJ. Mikey said he had a speaker on his head, so he likes speakers. I guess. Sounds logical, doesn't it? Let him put another one on his head. All that's left is to package everything up in a festive box. That's it. That was easy. I would have gotten him some new computer, game console, or just money. But a regular speaker is so much more useful and cool. Mikey, I got my present ready. Where's yours? A gift! Yes, of course. That's the gift I ordered for him. He's going to be so surprised by this thing. Oh, wait! I have to pick up this order. I totally forgot about it. Honey, you go to them, and I'll go to the store and get a present. It's probably already here. Don't worry, honey. I'll be right there. Bye-bye. Don't miss me at the party. Bye-bye, darling. Don't worry, I won't get bored with JJ. With a gift like this, I'll be the most welcome guest at this party. I can see JJ playing some day baby on this speaker. I gotta get dressed. Let's go. Yeah. Hello again, everyone. As you can see, I'm getting ready for the party. Very busy, by the way. I'm so tired, you know. I'm supposed to have guests coming over. Oh, it could be them. Time to stop cleaning. Maybe they'll come in on their own. They won't. We have to open the door for them. You gotta be polite, you know? Oh, hey, you're Mikey's wife. Hey, JJ, happy birthday. I wish you to be a happy, good, and kind guy. Thank you so much. Come inside. Everyone will be here soon. You came first. Yeah, okay. It's so cozy and nice here. I don't get to parties very often. By the way, Mikey will be here soon. He's picking up a gift from the store for you. Whoa, that's great. I love presents. Have a seat in the kitchen. My wife will be here soon with holiday goodies. I love yummy. You've cleaned up the place, I see. Good for you. Yes, thank you. I even built a fireplace. Look how cool it is. A fireplace? Oh yeah, it's really cool. And we have a fireplace at our house too. By the way, here's my present to you. I've been thinking about what to get you, and I thought this would do. Happy birthday, JJ. 
It's so selfish to come to a party like this without a gift, you know. Whoa, a gift for me? Thank you. I so rarely get gifts. That's very nice of you. You're welcome. You're the birthday boy today. Oh, that's so sweet. What's in the box? I can't wait to open it. But you'll open it when everyone gives you theirs. Come give me a hug, JJ. Happy birthday. Woo! My pleasure. I think I'm in time for the party. I hope they didn't forget about me. I got such a gift. The best gift ever. Not a big one, but so expensive. I paid $15,000 for it. Everything for JJ. Hey, everybody. Hope I'm not too late. How are you guys doing without me? What the? What? What? They're just standing there hugging. My wife with JJ. They're hugging each other when no one's around. Hello. Can you even hear me? Will you stop it? Take your clothes off if you like it so much. Oh, what? Mikey, you in here? Hi. Yeah, JJ. I certainly didn't expect that from you. Cheating with my wife. You are such a nasty, horrible boy. No, 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 no. We're just... We just hugged for a second. I gave him a gift and... Don't make excuses. You two love birds. You've got it all wrong. We just hugged. Yeah, nothing more, Mikey. Shut up, both of you. I thought you were my favorite wife. And you were my best friend. Now you're nothing to me. Mikey, it's not what you think. Shut your mouth, you unfaithful woman. Mikey, please hear us out. Mikey, Mikey, wait. Nothing happened between us. You imagined it. Stop. No, JJ, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna have to tell your wife. Don't, please, Mikey. Yes, I will. Where's your wife? Ouch. She went grocery shopping at the store. She'll be back soon. Why did you tell him that? Because I never lie. Mikey, stop. Let's talk. Nobody cheated on anybody. Stop, please. Told you for the hundredth time. I didn't cheat on anyone. Calm down, please. How insufferable and stupid you are. Cheater. With my wife. How could you? Your wife will obviously be happy with what was in the kitchen. Everyone should know about your adventures, so no one will ever want to love you again. Don't tell her. Nothing happened. Honey, he's got it all wrong. What? Your husband cheated on you with my wife exactly five minutes ago in your house while no one is looking. What? JJ, how could you? No, 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 no. It's not true. It's true. You're a freak, JJ. That's not true. Please listen to me, both of you. Nothing happened between us. You're a liar and a traitor. Mikey just imagined it. Please don't. Hit him again. I love you. I loved you. I loved you with all my heart. I married you. How could you? That's it. We're divorcing you, JJ. Goodbye. Sweetheart, Mikey, stop. You're all I've got, please. You don't live in my house anymore. I bought it. You couldn't even pay for your own house, you miserable, pathetic JJ. Yeah, he is. It's over, JJ. You're nothing. I hope I never see you again. All the bad stuff. Come back. Guys, I need you. No one needs you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't do anything. How? They got it all wrong. I've lost everything. Where am I going? I lost my house. Six months later. Today I collected as many as 18 bottles and found a burger in the trash can. Lucky me. I'll turn in the bottles and I can buy more food. Then I can definitely survive. Maybe. Anyway, it's not my fault I'm here. Not mine. What a beautiful rainy day. Today I made $20,000 in 20 minutes. I'm so cool. Something stinks. It stinks really bad. Oh my god. It's JJ. He lives in a dumpster. That's horrible. No home, no wife. I feel sorry for him. I'm gonna go say hello. Maybe I can help him with something. He looks hungry. Even though he did a bad thing, I haven't seen him in six months. I've searched these bins three times now. There's no food in there, unfortunately. Oh, it's Mikey. Hello, old friend. Hey, Mikey, why are you here? You still haven't found a job. No, nobody wants me because the whole town found out what I did, even though I didn't do it. How do you even live here? It's very simple. I get in any car and sleep there. I eat out of the tanks. You can't eat out of garbage cans. But I don't have any other choice, Mikey. Oh my God, man, I feel so sorry for you. Yes, there are misunderstandings in life sometimes. I've made friends with a couple of rats. I named them my wife and Mikey, just like you. Yeah, that's funny. When was the last time you ate? About two weeks ago. Oh, so let me feed you. I'll take you to a restaurant. We'll sit and talk like we used to. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, that sounds great. I agree. Do you have the money for it? Are you kidding? Of course I am. I could order the whole menu a hundred times over. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, since you're inviting me, I'm in. So cool. Here comes the food. Hurry up while it's hot. I'm paying for everything. Don't worry. Thank you so much. I've never been to such expensive restaurants, especially in the last half a year. I'm getting tired of looking for food through the garbage, you know. Totally unfair. Yeah, eat up. What? Not fair? It's your own fault for being here. You cheated. You swore allegiance to your wife at your wedding, and then you put your hands on my wife. That's terrible. No, 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 no. You're wrong, Mikey. Listen to me. I was expecting you for your birthday that day. Your wife came over, gave me a present, and just wanted to give me a hug. A hug. Nothing more. Then you came over and thought I was cheating. 
meeting. Are you serious? That's it? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Please forgive me for not listening to you again. I made such a big mistake. Let me give you some money and get you off your knees. Okay, Mikey, God will forgive, and so will I. That's cool. Glad it's all cleared up. I should tell everyone else that you're a good person and I got it all mixed up. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Then finish it quickly. You need to be washed. Okay, okay, let me finish. The next day... Hello again, everyone. I'm not poor anymore. Mikey called my wife and his wife to all make up with each other. There they are. JJ! Hey, how long have you been waiting? Here we are. Hey, JJ. I hope we can live like we used to. Hi, honey. Please forgive me for not believing you. I'm so sorry. It's all right, darling. It's a good thing you made up with your wife and I made up with mine. How well it all ends. Everything was broken because of Mikey and it all came back together because of him. Yeah, Mikey made some noise. I'm also sorry for hitting you a few times. I'm sorry, JJ. Why don't we start over and you come back to me? Of course. Let's start all over again. I never stopped loving you and all of you. Yeehaw, we're back together. JJ, I love you. Oh, that's so touching. We'll listen to you more carefully from now on. Yes, I agree. Yeah, Mikey's right. It's all so confusing. It's just embarrassing that you spent half a year living in a dump, but whatever. You forgave us. It's too late to be upset. Yeah, you're right. There's no need to be offended. Ten hours later. We have to go to school. Stop talking. Going back to this place again. I'd rather go for a walk somewhere. JJ, stop whining. Let's get to class or you'll be suspended for truancy again. You're lecturing me again? What are you going to say this time? Uh, I'm gonna tell you to subscribe to the channel. What do you mean? I just read it off the board. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Guys, subscribe to the channel. This sign comes in handy. By the way, don't forget to like this video. It's also written on the sign. And don't forget to do it at all. Yeah, I don't know what that's doing here, but we should get to class now. I agree with you, JJ. Let's go sit in our seats already. By the way, have you seen our sister Amfau? Nope, I haven't seen her. Where could she be? She's probably in the classroom by now. Then we can make fun of her. Oh, I really like it. I don't like our sister at all. She's such a great student. She does all her homework. She's such a good girl. It makes me nervous. There she sits and she can't even hear us. Here's some snowballs for you. Nah, take that. Eat the snow. Hee hee hee, she's so stupid. Hey, why are you throwing things at me? You're distracting me from my studies. Ha ha ha, what a weirdo. It was frustrating. That's what we wanted. Keep throwing it at her, Jay. Come on, Mikey. Throw everything you got at her. What a loser she is. We're such pranksters. You two idiots who are interfering with my studies, I will call the teacher right now. Huh. No one wants you at all. Nobody's gonna help you. And Ampho stinks. Can you smell it? Air out the classroom. All right, kids. Quiet, everybody. Oh, is she for us? Attention. Tomorrow is a very important and difficult test. Please prepare for it. Whoever fails this test will be kicked out of school as too stupid. Looks like we have a problem. Anyway, you have to study for the test yourself. I'm too too lazy to teach you. She won't be helping us yet. We're definitely gonna fail this test. Lesson's over. Let's go home, Mikey. We need to figure something out. What can we figure out? I mean, we haven't done any homework at all. It can't be so bad. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we should ask our parents what we should do. You think they're so smart? They'll probably say it's our problem. Maybe they'll have some ideas. Who else can help us? I think maybe we should make cheat sheets. They'd at least give us a chance to get a decent grade on the test. No, Mikey. We've done this before. Four. Yeah, the teacher scolded us so much in front of our parents. Hey, guys, wait for me. Let's go play dolls together. I promise it'll be fun. What kind of dolls? Such pink and cute little dolls. Oh, we're adults already. We're not going to play with some little kid like you. Ow, go away. No one wants to play with you. Go and play with your dolls alone. What a stupid girl. I will avenge you for this. Boys don't play dolls. Boys play with cars. Let her remember it once and for all. We made fun of her pretty good. She's so naive and silly. But I don't even feel sorry for her for that. Yeah, me too. Let's go home now, JJ. We have to figure out what to do about the test tomorrow. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Yeah, our mom can cook good food. Glad to hear it, kids. Our mom's food is the most delicious in the world. By the way, where's Ampho? She'll be home from school soon. Don't you two go home together? No, she's too dumb. Hey, everybody, I'm home. It smells so good in here. How did you get home later than us? I'm just a slow walker. She's also a slow thinker. By the way, we have a very important test at school tomorrow. Chances are we'll write it very poorly. We don't know what to do. Mom, Dad, maybe you have a solution. I would hire a repeater and prepare pair with him. Hire a tutor? And where would we find one? How about me? I have prepared well for the test and I can help you. That's a good idea. No, you can't do anything. You're a stupid little girl. You don't know anything and you can't do it. Hey, why do they always have to be so mean to me? Because you only have dolls on your mind. You're both rude. I took offense. 
Go to your room and cry into your pillow. Hey, Amphow, come back. It's so easy to chase her away. Kids, you can't do that. She's your sister. I forbid you to be so rude to her. You did a bad thing. Huh, we had a normal conversation. We have a lot of fun hanging out with her. Or rather, mocking her. Maybe she's crying alone right now. Hurting little ones is bad. Ha <laughs> ha, so let her stay away from us. Yeah, it's her fault we're teasing her. Mikey's right. You don't have to be such a clingy and annoying girl. Never mind. I'm so sick of them bullying me. I should teach them a lesson. What if I did? I've got a brilliant idea. I want to make them pissed off to their max. They just didn't turn off their computer. This is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of their inattention. They'll be sorry for being so mean to me. They are just having trouble with the test tomorrow. I think I'll look for the worst ad selling fake test answers for them. Buy answers inexpensively, fast, guarantee 100%, cheap and fast again. I'll find the weirdest and most unreliable ad for them. They'll definitely fall for it. Okay, I think I found it, cool. Yum, 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 this is so good. Yeah, JJ, I can't get enough of this deliciousness. Yeah, kids, you're always so hungry after school. It's time for you to study for your test. Oh, by the way, we totally forgot about him. Yeah, we're full. It's time to start thinking about school. Let's go find us a tutor. But Mikey, where are we gonna find him? Uh, JJ, I have to teach you everything. You can find a tutor online. He'll tutor us quickly on Discord and we'll do well on the test tomorrow. Oh, really? Is that possible? Yes, you can. Everything's for sale on the internet these days. That's awesome, Mikey. Whoa, look, some kind of advertisement just popped up. But I didn't open anything. It just came up on its own. As you can see, yes. Buy answers for the school test for only only 10 bucks? Whoa, just in time. JJ, don't you find that suspicious? I don't care at all, Mikey. This is our chance to write this test right. But I don't know if I even have that kind of money. We can split the purchase in half. I pay five bucks and you pay five bucks. You have that much money, don't you? Yeah, that's all the money I've saved lately. Only five bucks? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a lot of money. I've always had money problems, but I'll give my share. I hope you have that kind of money. Five bucks. Well, uh, I should go through my drawer. Maybe I can scrounge up some of my coins. Well, well, well. I'm having money problems too. Although I think I have an extra dollar somewhere. Yes, I have money. Five dollars exactly. We have the right amount. That's cool. Now we can buy ready-made exam answers. All that's left to do is make a phone call to arrange a purchase. It's so good. I don't even have to learn anything. We're so sneaky, Mikey. Only I'm afraid to talk to that guy on the phone. Why don't you make the call? Okay, Mikey. I'll call him myself since you're such a little chicken. It don't matter. Just make the call. Okay. Cluck, 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 cluck. That seems to be the number. There's still a little bit left. Hi, who's that calling? Hello. We're calling from an ad. Are you selling school test answers? Yeah, this is me selling. Would you like to buy it? Yes, we want to buy. It's very urgent. Then meet at 1 a.m. at the park entrance. Come alone. No parents or police. It's perfect. We'll wait till my parents are asleep and make a quick run over there. Yes, Mikey, the plan is perfect. Just don't yell like that again. Otherwise, Amphow or the parents will hear us. Okay, Mikey. Okay, I think everyone's asleep. We need to move as quickly as possible. The lights in parents' bedroom and Ampho's room are already off. Everyone's asleep. We've got the whole night to ourselves, but let's not waste too much time. Let's go. Come on, Mikey. We already have the money we need. You know, Mikey, we're like criminals. In the middle of the night, we're buying some illegal product. I don't think we're going to get arrested for that. So the entrance to the park is kind of right here. I don't know. I've never been here. This place is kind of weird. Yes, I agree. At least there's no extra witnesses to our deal. Afraid our teacher will see you? No, JJ. I'm afraid of this place. It's creepy. Yes, but this is the place the salesman named. Well, where does he go? How long do we have to wait for him? He should be here any minute. Okay, that's good. Give me all your money. I'll give it to him in one pile right away. Okay, that's even more convenient. You know, JJ, we could have gotten 10 burgers for that money. Yeah, Mikey. That's a lot of money for us. I've never held such a huge amount of money in my hands. It's exactly 1 a.m. So right now, he's supposed to come out of nowhere. Right out of nowhere? Yeah, right from here. Hey, kids, did you bring money with you? Uh, wow. You are, how should I say? Are you black? Yes, I'm black. Any problems? No, it's okay. Then give your money here, now! Okay, okay, don't scream. Here's your money. Do you have the answers to the test? What? A test? Yes, we agreed with you. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Here are the answers to your school test. I know people at school. Just don't tell anyone about this deal. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys. Study hard next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> That's 
it, JJ. That wasn't so hard. Now we can write this test without any problems. Oh, we are so cool. We're also very smart. Now we'll never have to do our homework by ourselves again. It's easier to copy it or buy it from someone else. Yeah, we can buy that stuff more often from this black guy. That's a cool dude. Very cool. <laughs> This is it, the moment of truth. Today, we will write this test and get the best grades in the class. I hope that guy gave us the right answers. We gave him a lot of money. For that kind of money, the answers would be perfect. Then let's go and write that stupid test. Let's go, JJ. The teacher won't even suspect our idea. She's too dumb to even think about it. Whoa, JJ, look, there's a joke in there. What kind of joke? Like and subscribe? What does that mean? JJ, don't you remember? We saw the same sign yesterday. Go ahead, mess around in your empty head. Wow, isn't that a call to subscribe to our channel? Also like our videos. Let's go to class or we'll be late. Let's go, JJ. Friends, I hope you like every video we make. And you, Mikey, do you like our videos? Yeah, I put a like under every video. Nice work, Mikey. Let's go to class. If we don't write this test, we'll have to repeat a year at this school. And that's what they do to the dumbest students. And we're the smartest, but we don't want to show it. We are invisible geniuses. Yeah, it's going to be a big test. There are so many tasks. Hey, everybody. Pay attention to the test. Mikey, JJ, I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. We're going to need it. It's the only thing that will help you today. Does she think we're so dumb that we're incapable of writing the test ourselves? She's right, JJ. We're not going to write the test ourselves. Okay, let's get out our sheets and start filling in our answers. Just don't let the teacher see you. She doesn't care about anything. Then it's easier for us. I've already solved half the test. Two hours later. Congratulations to all of you for writing this difficult test. That's exactly what she says about us. Everyone wrote the test very well. I'm so proud of you. She's the one who's proud of us. You guys are really smart. Except you two, you don't have a single correct answer. You're the dumbest in the class. And you're also staying for your sophomore year. By the way, I'm calling your parents to the school. Two idiots. I hope you don't socialize with them unless you want to be dumbed down like that. How's that? Oh my god, this is so bad. That guy gave us the wrong answers. But how so? We gave him ten whole dollars. That's a lot of money for us, but it was a scam. Parents are probably Probably not going to be happy about this. Mikey, but what do we do now? Do we stay a sophomore year? It's such a shame. What else are we supposed to do? Just study and try to pass the test on our own. I don't think we're gonna find that weird guy in black. And if we do, we're not gonna do anything to him. He 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 he, I got the best grade ever. I'm so smart. What's up, guys? How was your test? I don't see a smile on your faces. What are you talking about? She's suspiciously happy. Because it was me. I opened that website on your computer selling test answers. I got my revenge. She's getting back at us? We'll show her. What are you talking about? Prepare to be retaliated against, Amphal. You're gonna regret Ow. doing this Ow. to us. Ouch. We're your brothers. You shouldn't have set us up. That's enough. You're hurting me. And you hurt us with what you did. Stop right there. You think you're gonna run away from us? It's a harmless joke. Now we're going to show you a bigger joke. It's so hard to get up in this bad weather, and it's even harder to go to school afterwards. Today, as usual, we woke up early in the morning to go to school. We should see what time it is and wake Mikey up. Oh my god, we're already late. We're half an hour away from the bell. How could we have overslept like that? Mikey, get up quick. We gotta get out of here soon. If we don't get out now, we'll be late again. Come on, get up! Why are you waking me up? And you look at the time and think about why I'm waking you up. So what's the time? Wow, half an hour till the bell rings. That's why I'm waking you up. Let's get ready and go to school. Since we're late anyway, why don't we watch cartoons before we go? On the other hand, I agree with you, especially since I don't really want to go there anyway. Let's see a little bit. You're a badass, JJ. Besides, how could you and I miss our favorite cartoon? What are you guys watching? Cartoons? Oh no, it's the parents coming. We have to turn it off before they see it. I saw what you were doing. Why aren't you in school yet? You're already late. How can you do that? You're late every time. You have half an hour to get to school. We know, Mom, but we really overslept today. We're sorry. Maybe you can drive us today so we won't be so late. Well, by the way, it's a good idea to do that. Especially since you and I have a free day today. See how great everything turned out. Let's go quickly. Let's not waste time. In the end, because we overslept, we would make it to school in comfort. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. It's not for nothing that people say that everything that is not done is done for the best. We won't always be able to save you like this. So you guys don't think like that. All right, then. The main thing is that everything turned out great today. It's true. We'll make a quick, breezy ride today. But you guys don't do that again. 
We'll fight next time. We've already realized our mistake. It won't happen again. We really hope so. Although personally, I'd love to do that every day to get us a ride. It's true. Much faster and better to get there by car than walking. How do you guys get to school? Be sure to post in the comments. And it's time for us to go to school. All right, Dad, step on the gas and let's go learn. I'm doing it. We have to go fast so you won't be late. Drive carefully. All right, guys, we're here. Let's get out and run to class. Okay, thank you so much for driving us. Have a good day at school. Well, Mikey, here we are again. Did you miss this? To be honest, not really. But on the other hand, it can be fun, too. There's some truth to that. You'll have plenty of time to talk. Now run to school or they'll give you a warning. And we'll go home and wait for you there after school. We really gotta run, Mikey. Have a good day. Study hard. See you guys. You have a good day, too. Bye. Bye. Lucky us Mikey and our parents. Although they are a bit strict, they are also very kind. I agree with that, too. Let's get to school already. We're already late, for sure. Now to listen again about us being late, not wanting to study, and the like. But we're a school. You can have a lot of fun here, too. This is where I agree with you. Look at this. I can't help but remind our viewers what they have to do to please us. It's true. We will be very happy if you follow the instructions written on the board. All right, well, it's time to go. We're stopping everywhere. We'll never make it to class. It's true. I wish we hadn't. I don't want to go there. Oh, come on. We'll sit. We'll study. We'll have fun. We'll have a good time. All right, let's go sit down. I hope the teacher doesn't say anything to us. So you two, you're late again? How long have you been late? Do you need to be punished so you don't do it again? I told you this would happen. I've told you 20 times about the tardiness of everything. Well, we just overslept today. I don't care why you're doing it. I'm very angry with you. Get back to your desk quickly and don't disrupt the class. Sit and listen to what I'm telling here. It will be done. That's what I thought it would be. You've ruined our mood. Let's not pay attention to her. We'll just sit here and go home later. And rightly so, especially since worrying about the teacher is nonsense. Today, we have already started discussing our new challenging lesson topic. Let her tell us what he wants, and we'll decide for ourselves whether to listen or not. There's really nothing complicated here, but it's better to understand it all at once. Five minutes later. We still sit and listen to the most educational things in our lives. It's true. She's a very boring storyteller. And in general, I'm bored just sitting there. Let's have a riot. It'll be so much fun. But the teacher will scold us badly. All right. At least you and I will have fun in the moment. Let's jump on the table. Mikey, you're crazy. Get off the desk. What are you doing? You know what? I'll back you up. I'm going to jump up and down and have fun too. Look, everyone's starting to follow our lead. Look at the look on the teacher's face. This is really fun. What if you done? Why did you do that? The two of you rioting in the middle of class? No, we just got bored, that's all. I will remember your attitude toward me and my lesson. Let her say whatever she wants, but look how cool it looks from the outside. It's true. I told you it was a great idea to make class more fun. Now we can do anything. Jump from desk to desk, talking and having fun. This is the kind of class every child would love to go to. And we're going to be running everyone now. If we want to, we'll come up with new things for all of us to do. It's true. You may our day more fun, Mikey. Even though we're gonna get in trouble for it later, we're gonna have fun now. Let's not look into the future. Maybe she'll realize the lessons are boring and thank us. Let's believe in him. But now we're jumping. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed with all these students. I hate them so much. Why are they behaving so badly? They're so disrespectful to me. It hurts my feelings. If they don't care about my feelings, I don't care about theirs. I have to make them suffer. They'll realize they woke the beast in me for nothing. Law and discipline will be restored to this school. It's time for severe punishments. To prevent them from escaping justice, I must brick up the doors to the school. That's it. Now no mouse will go out and enter this strictest school in the world. And most of all, I hate JJ and Mikey. They started all this chaos. My wrath will fall on them first. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee, he, JJ, we're the coolest guys ever. Oh yeah, now this class can be called beautiful. Ha ha ha. These drawings are just wonderful. I wish the whole school was covered in our graffiti. And the coolest part is that the whole thing was organized by us, Mikey. We're in charge. Yeah, JJ, and no teacher is going to distract us from our teenage activities. Everybody out of the classroom now. Oh my God, the old chick's here. Time to get out of here, Mikey. Yeah, it's time to get out. Everybody get out now. I'll kill the last two students. Uh, I think she's lost her 
mind. Go, 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 go. All right, teacher. It was JJ and Mikey who made us do it. Hey, shut up, you tattletale. Oh, my God, JJ. We're the last two students in the class. Ha, ha, ha. Here comes the dumbest of the pack. Hey, what do you want to do? JJ, she said she was going to kill the last two students. Oh, my God, Mikey. Is it the end? Come here, you little bullies. Hey, don't touch us. JJ, don't get too close to her. Come here, you stupid and disobedient student. Mikey, what do we do? We need to get away from this stupid school. You're not going anywhere from me. Ha! We fooled you easily. Now we'll just run out of the classroom and go to our homes. You're so stupid. Oh my god, JJ, we're in trouble. She's bricked up all the doors. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Now the two of you are trapped. There's no way you're getting out of my school. JJ, she's gonna kill us. There's no way out. Uh, it's time to give up. Now you're in for a terrifying punishment for the two of you. Oh no, we're gonna be here forever, Mikey. Oh no, are you crying? That's it. It's all your fault. What am I supposed to do with you? Forgive me and Mikey for everything. Otherwise, he's gonna keep crying. Okay, I'll forgive you if you do a complete classroom cleanup. It's very dirty in there. I don't care. Here's your mops. Your punishment will be to clean up the classroom. Ma, that's not cool at all. I don't know how to clean at all. My mom cleaned everything for me. Me too. I don't know how to use a mop at all. Two stupid whiners quickly started cleaning up the classroom. It's impossible to be in there after you. Well, let's go try to clean it up. I don't know if we can do it. My goodness. We're going to have to clean up after all the students who littered here. Yeah, we've got a huge job to do today. Too bad we couldn't get away from here. Escape! Are you out of your mind? You littered here and I'm supposed to clean it up? Oh yeah, it's no big deal to you. Get your mops in your hands and start cleaning up. Otherwise, I'll make you both cry again. Hopefully in the future, you'll be nothing but lowly janitors like you are now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be a cool rapper. It's not awesome to be a janitor at all. It's such a shame to clean up after all your classmates when everyone in the class littered in general. I agree with you, Mikey. We need to share responsibilities. You want me to do all the work? I'll mop the walls and you mop the floor. Hmm, okay, I'm in. Let's get started. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. We shouldn't have been bullying our teacher. Three hours later. Well, 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 looks like all the work is done. I'm so tired. I'll never litter again. It's so tedious to clean up after someone. Hey, Mikey, how's your work going? I'm awfully tired, JJ. All that's left is to dust these shelves. I just want to get home and get away from all this horror. You don't have to clean up the dust. The whole classroom already looks clean. It's time to go home. Yeah, we've worked hard enough. Time to get out of here. I agree with you. Oh, that teacher's here. Hey, we're all done. Hmm, certainly not a perfect cleanup, but it's good for beginner cleaners. Hey, we're not going to be janitors in adulthood. Stop insulting us. All right, you're all free to go. Well done. Finally, we're going home to rest and watch cartoons. Don't litter like that again and be good kids. Uh-huh, sure. We're going to be real bullies. Hello, children. Hi, Mom, Dad. What are you guys doing here? We've been in extracurricular activities. They're lying. They messed up the whole class. There was graffiti, a bunch of trash, and it smelled like piss. Oh, my God. Did it smell like pee? Seriously? But we cleaned up afterward. It's all clean now. They made that huge mess. They're really bad kids. Hey, don't tell that to our parents. Oh, looks like we're gonna get punished, JJ. I highly recommend punishing them. Children, a month without cartoons. I'm disappointed in you. They shouldn't even be allowed to watch cartoons. Hey, this is too much. We apologize. I can't survive without cartoons. Can you even think with your head? Why are you littering here? Because we're bullies, Mom. Because you're idiots, Mikey. We are so ashamed of our children. This is not how we raised you. Forgive us. We cleaned up and we won't do it again. Let's go home. I'll beat you with my belt. Oh my God, I really don't like this. What are you waiting for? You'll be punished for sure. Let's go home. Yeah, Mikey, we've got a whole bunch more punishment ahead of us. Hee hee hee. Revenge is sweet, guys. Yeah, we got outplayed by the teacher. We lost, JJ. You're so stupid, and I'm the smartest and most cunning teacher in the world. Cheer up, Mikey. Hey, get over here right now. Stop hiding in there. Oh, they're getting even angrier. We will get revenge on that teacher, but not today. Friends, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. How would you like to revenge our teacher? Write about it in the comments. Bye.